Hi everybody, I'm making another video about the equipment that we use. We did one that will be up here for the masks. Uh, here my buddy and someone else, we were talking about the mask at that time. And now we're going to do one about our leg protectors. Um, I had this one when I started and I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I will put the links to um, the Amazon prices and if you want to order them, but um, I didn't like it that much because again, I'm afraid that I'm going to get hurt. It's not as thick. It's a little bit tough, but I didn't like the, the, how thick the padding is. And also the foot protection. I, this is one of the parts that gets hurt the most, especially with elbows and stuff like that. So I really didn't like this um, because it was too small on protecting my actual, the top of my foot. And so I personally don't like it, as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of wear and tear. Um, now, John is going to show and talk us about what he has and why he bought those. So, uh, hey guys, uh, just wanted to show you my uh, shin guards that I've been using for the past five years now, uh, since I started uh, doing MMA my junior year of uh, high school. So, the shin guards that I have right here, uh, they're called Meister. Uh, shin guards. I got them on Amazon for I believe like $25 and um, some of the things that I like about them is that it doesn't move around as much since it molds onto my uh, my legs or my shins perfectly. Uh, it has like a uh, what do you call it? It's like a velcro, a velcro type of material so, um, just like with the other shin guards that um, Armando was uh, showing us. Uh, it helps secure it properly and personally uh, the big reason I like the Meister uh, shin guards is that it doesn't slip as much compared to um, uh, the ordinary uh, shin guards uh, that don't come in this type of material. So uh, yeah, I think the only uh, downside about these, uh, it, it's a little bit thinner uh, in terms of like protection, personally. Um, it, I, I, there are times where I feel that whenever I'm checking kicks, it, um, it doesn't protect my shins as much. But uh, but overall, I, I'd still give it like a, a four out of five. I, I'd still recommend if you're just starting out in MMA. All right, guys, you need to subscribe because otherwise, all right, en español, suscríbase porque si. Okay, por favor. So these ones are the ones that I got. I really like them. The padding for me, at least, again, everything is psychological and it makes me feel more comfortable to spar with them. It's thicker, it goes higher, and it covers my whole foot, uh, which again, it makes me feel more comfortable. Um, the toes too, it protects me. Honestly, I bought them on uh, OfferUp, I, probably for like 25 bucks for a set of three. I have a white, a blue, and the red ones. Um, so I have no idea. I will put it on the description, but I, I really like this ones again Just because it makes me feel more comfortable that the padding is thick enough. So I hope this uh, Was informative and you liked you guys like it and if you like the show or the video, please subscribe hit a like and I have again other comparisons of the face mask and us sparring so you know Hit it like.